So hello and welcome. Today I will show you how to make this wonderful pillars. And just a little heads up, there are two versions of this tutorial. One which you're currently watching, which is around 15 minutes where I go and detail everything I'm doing and why I'm doing that. And there is a second one, which is around one minute where I, well, just show it. So let's get started. So first let's open up my wonderful help video, which I, you know, help, no, video, but file where I have a bunch of stuff which I can explain. But first we have to figure out what actually is a pillar. I know it, it sounds a little bit strange, but I think it's very important that you figure out what your wonderful uh, model is composed of. And in this case, we have a pillar. You can see normally we have two sides, um, which of course are sewed together. And uh, then you have a seam because of that as well. We have around, you know, you know a very just normal shape, you know, looking like a cube but uh, we're not going to use a cube, but I will show you later on. As well, we have some wrinkles uh, as well. Sometimes we have some textures and something like that, but we have normally like a white kind of thing that we can hear. If it's like on a couch or something, we have some patterns. And if it's like for sleeping, normally it's white. Uh, we will do something which has little, you know, detail and everything but of course we normally we can say we have two sides which are stitched together and uh, inside we have a filling which of course uh, we will not of course do because we don't need that uh, we have uh, I mean of course we have some filling but of course you can think whatever it is so let's go so of course I said yeah it's kind of cube shaped and of course we can use a cube if you just scale it down you can see yeah that's that's nearly the case here it's wonderfully it's uh, a nearly the shape uh, but of course in order to wonderfully use a close simulation, we need some wonderfully uh, pulleys, meaning we're gonna subdivide a couple of times. And if you can see already problem, we have some bunch of lines, which we're not gonna need, meaning that uh, we have a better way to do that. And that is to just use a plane. Also, let's enable wonderfully screencast so I can, or you can see what I'm using or which buttons I'm pressing. So here we are. We're gonna, of course, now it's subdivided. But of course, uh, it's depending on how much you subdivide, of course, it will change the outcome. And of course, it will be more resource heavy. So if you take a look at this wonderful thing, we have here a couple of versions I made of a pillow. You can see everything is plus one subdivision. So one, no, was it zero? No, one, two, three, four, five, six, so you can see it's getting more detailed with every single time but of course the more detail you have uh, the more uh, wonderful police you have meaning it will be more resource heavy so of course you have to figure out what you want or what you can do um, but of course you know you can still go with something like this uh, but of course it will uh, you know change the sometimes it will not look as good but of course if you just want for something for the background something like this can be enough but of course if you want to have in the foreground something like this with high detail can make a difference but of course uh, you can make it also different ways you know these wonderful wrinkles uh, because the more you can see the more pulleys we have the more wrinkles will appear because we have more pulleys that of course can then grow and wrinkle themselves but of course you can also manually add wrinkles later but of course we will get that to that later so we have established uh, more pulleys normally more quality so we're gonna um wonderful i think go and you know let's let's go for let's see uh let's go for Let's go for six and of course we have also established that in order to get a pillow we had to need two sides currently our wonderful plane has one side so we're just going to extrude this one a little bit and then we have two sides which of course can then be inflated something which we also need is a little cut here because this is the place where we will later on place the seam also we're going to extrude this or scale this one out a little bit uh so we're going to have this wonderful bendy uh part so of course if you want to do something um we need to have wonderful it inflated we will do that with the close simulation so we're just going to click on close simulation here on uh, physics properties and in order to wonderfully start a simulation you have to press wonderfully play but as you can see it is falling into oblivion that is because it is in fact a simulation meaning gravity will also be applied and of course we don't have specified anything which will wonderfully uh not to stop it uh, it will wonderfully fall into oblivion and in order to stop that we're just gonna disable the gravity you know one means we have normal gravity like on earth it's going down if we have minus one it's going up and zero we don't have anything of course it's it's just you know a little bit you know um a simplified but of course we don't need 
anything else. I'll just put it on zero. And if I press pray now, wonderfully, we can see it is not doing anything. It's just floating in the middle. But the thing is, we have to, you know, let it collide with something because it is still uh, wonderfully simulation and it has to collide with something but still it's not going to happen because it can technically work we are nothing is happening because we have to inflate this so we're going to take pressure and now we have to put down a pressure volume let's go for five but of course we're going to like take a look at what the different values mean so up here they go if i press it there we go we have wonderful look, wonderful pillar but of course uh it's it's still looking very rough so first we're going to make it smooth and we're going to make a wonderful subdivision so we're going to here go and subdivision there we go we have more a little more uh, detail but of course if you go higher it will be looking better but of course more triangles but of course let's take a look at the pressure value we have wonderfully something here it's a bunch of pillars you can see both have wonderfully um, a pressure value uh, a different pressure value so we can here point is seven one five fifteen and fifty as you can see the more pressure you have the more well pressure you have <laughs> uh, and you can see it's getting filled more from nearly uh, not barely anything to completely nearly bursting you can see of course if you have less it will also create some wrinkles which of course can help something which of course can also affect the wrinkles is the wonderful stiffness bending node which of course i also have one thing here so we can here see again that the more bending and you have the more the vertices will bend and uh, meaning it will also create wrinkles of course uh, it, it of course depends on what you want and later on you can just manually add some with sculpting or some normal maps but of course uh, we'll take a look at this later so we have now a wonderful thing of five i think that's a little bit too big so we just want to change that maybe onto three so we will want to fully reset this one, set it to zero again and play it again. We have here wonderfully uh, not any wrinkles um, because we are going to change that now manually. Of course, you can play around with everything you have in here so you get what you want but of course if you want to get some manual wrinkles if you're not happy with the wrinkle amount then we can do that manually of course with sculpting but of course first we have to apply the wonderful close simulation because if not then nothing's gonna happen or well it, something will happen but of course blender is like what what's happening here that's not the thing i'm gonna calculate it's once to recalculate everything and everything's gonna break so first apply then change something so, of course, we have to wonderfully uh, get our wonderful seam, which we also have uh, on a normal cushion or pillow. Um, but, of course, we have here this wonderful line, which I added earlier, which, of course, is there for the seam. Uh, so, we're going to wonderful make a little, you know, um, bevel. If you press shift, you can make it very slowly. So, we're just going to need a little bit. This is now the place where we're going to put the wonderful bevel we're gonna wonderfully extrude this one and we're just gonna let it go because yeah we don't need anything uh upwards we just need it there now we of course you can decide on the style because you can see if you scale it out seams can be outwards or inwards depending on well the actual cushion I will go with inwards because my other tutorial also went with an inwards one. So we have already a pretty decent. But of course, if you want to get wrinkles, then we can also go to the sculpting part. But of course, let's let's apply the wonderful subdivision so we have more wonderful uh, parts we can go and you know, create stuff from. So we have more uh, polys to work with. So we are here now on the clothes. The, tab you have here a bunch of different stuff which we can use in order to sculpt some stuff you can see here you can wonderfully sculpt on everything you want something which i liked is of course the inflate uh, brush which you can just inflate uh, single parts or in this case decrease um, which of course can manually do something but of course this can be tedious um, so we will use something called the clothe one the cl it's just called clothes which of course is going to let you wonderfully pull around uh wonderful the uh, stuff you can see here you can pull it around in order to create wrinkles of course i have now in a billion strengths one is of course probably not the one you want let's just go 4.5 and just go for a little bit less radius so we can add some wrinkles here um which of course can wonderfully help you to make it look more realistic you can see here it's looking just a little dense here and there because 
as it technically would be correct, uh, nothing is perfect in this world, meaning if it's looking too perfect, it will not look correct. Let's go and make it up a little bit so we can see it better. So uh, we can see here, there we go, we have now a bunch of wrinkles, which of course, maybe a little bit too much, but of course it's just demonstration, we can see, just play around until you have something which you like, we can see it's looking better and realistic, because nothing in the world is perfect, including cushions, because people sit on it, people, you know, lean on it and everything like that, uh, for example, you could also just make a wonderful big little hole in here, because somebody was like, leaning against it or something, that's all possible, but of course you have to play around with it, but of course you also can use the settings earlier in the close to just give some free made and say, yeah, sure, it's, it's fine. It always depends on what you want. And with that, we have a wonderful cushion uh, or pillow, meaning we need now one of the important parts, which of course is some textures. Uh, I went and wonderfully took some from a Polygon. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them, sadly. Uh, I think I just, yeah, put it in fabric and put it onto free because there are also versions that cost. Uh, money, but we went for the free one. I think I went for this one here, which I already have downloaded So I'm gonna wonderfully just pull them in of course first before we do anything We will go into the shaders tab and press new Let's take a look at the wonderful position here There we go also make this one so we actually can see something and of course yeah, I have it here So if you don't know this it will look like this we have a bunch of different versions we have some colors we have some different normal maps bumps and everything and let's go for this black one and we're just gonna plug this one in in the color in the color there we go you can see we have now a texture which of course it is pretty nice but of course you know uh, some fabrics have some little lines like I don't know what's called like the seam it's it's, it's made of thing stuff <laughs> which we also have in here so we have uh, for in this case a bump which we can plug in but of course a bump alone will not do anything so we have to press uh you know bump search for that and press uh not connect the normal and the normal and the height and the height of course which is way too much but of course with that we can now see the little seams which add a little bit more detail uh in this one there was also a normal map uh in we can see that different normal maps for example just like for the things like these are little patches that don't should any have should any have and we, you know the other way around and everything but we're just going for the normal that has everything and of course because it's a normal map you're going to put on another color and we're going to plug this in the normal map giving us even more detail but of course uh you you know can play around with that if you don't have any lighting so uh it's not looking that well so let's see we can make it a little less shiny and with that uh, we should Add some lighting so it's looking pretty decent let's put down an environment texture and we're gonna use one I don't know like this one maybe and there we go let's also go to cycles we should also disable stuff so just like stuff is looking like more a little bit better but of course uh, yeah we have now a wonderful cushion pillow if I find it there we go and of course, if you like this one, I hope you will subscribe for more content. Of course, there's also a one minute version of this one. If you want to check this out, it is linked in the description as well as the texture. So I hope you like this one and I see you next time.